Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody I am here doing a random collective reading. Uh, this reading is for the collective so it may or may not resonate with you okay. Just take what does resonate, toss out the rest. You guys know the drill right? You're pros at this. Um, just don't try to force any reading into your world right? And thank you so much, everyone, for everything. Your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations. But most of all, the kindness and the support. Thank you so much. Seriously, everybody is so super nice to me here. And I am, I'm grateful for that every day. Thank you so much for everything. All right, so Divine, what do you have for the collective? Um, the funny thing is, is I am right in the middle. Okay, so I got the TV on in the background and I put on Aladdin, right, with um, Will Smith. And I'm watching the part, the very awkward part where he meets the princess for the first time. And they're talking about jams and... <laughs> It's so awkward. So I'm getting, I'm picking up on um, a masculine energy wanting to come and talk to you. And it's, they're going to be like <sighs> tripping over their words, you know, not being able to find the right words. It's going to be very, very awkward to talk to you. Um, you know, it's a really funny little scene. You, you may want to be able to, you may want to look it up on on YouTube or something, but um, yeah, that's the awkwardness of this person coming towards you. They're going to be all dialed up in their best looking clothes, you know. Um, yeah, they're going to do everything that they can to try to talk to you, but it's going to be awkward. That's, that's the feeling that I'm getting anyway. There's something about some kind of... Um, three like a, a group of three feminine energies out here gossiping planning plotting dancing around a little campfire i don't know um they're betraying this masculine by the way three and look at he's holding three fingers one two three three of them uh yeah maybe this person has been betrayed by three different feminine energies at different times um, <laughs> they could have even teamed up against him too. There's, there's possible scenarios here. Oh boy, we've got reversals coming out. Yeah, you're moving forward because this person refused to walk away from a situation. But they were actually stabbed in the back by a group. I feel like it was a group of feminine energies that they refused. This person was being stubborn. Um... I feel like they picked up on warnings here, and uh, but they wouldn't leave the situation full well knowing, right, full well knowing that it wasn't working out. Okay, this is somebody that knows that they have to walk away from something here. Possibly, maybe this person stayed in a situation because they knew if they left, they could be losing a lot of money or a property or a business or something they invested a lot of energy and time into okay this is nurturing something and waiting for it to grow but unable to reap any kind of harvest from it so this person has to pick up this one pentacle and turn around and walk away okay leaving it behind but i feel like um, they were kind of they had emotions invested into something this could be something that they were in for up to six or seven years, maybe eight, okay, maybe eight, they put love into something for eight years, they focused on something really hard for, for six, but yeah, this person knew they had to walk away and make a decision to leave the scene, but they wouldn't, this is to me showing that it's stubborn, this is somebody who's being stubborn about it, well, they didn't walk away, but they ended up being betrayed and backstabbed here, possibly by a group. Look, third-party situations. Yeah, I feel like um, there was some kind of betrayal here. There was a betrayal. This person also, they could be having some kind of health issues or... Um, yeah, clarify that. No, nope, it was about money. It was all about money. 
I feel like they may have been committed to somebody, this Queen of Pentacles, and it was all about the money. Because this person, I feel like they knew in walking away from whatever the situation was, they would lose all of these pentacles or, like I said, a property, a business. So they chose not to. They didn't want to lose something here that was big. But they lost you. You moved forward, okay? And now they're they're realizing that it doesn't really matter that it was all about money in the first place. And I feel like they were betrayed by this Queen of Pentacles that they were with and maybe a couple of her friends. Um, yeah, I feel like this person just... They got like 10 swords to the back. They've been betrayed. It's They're heartbroken now. And I, I feel like, um, yeah, now they in, in taking control of things, I feel like now they want to get you to calmer waters. But if you get in this boat with them now, um, you know, those consequences they, that they have, are going to come on you. You're going to be the one. Yeah, because you're in the queen of, you're sorry, the empress throne. Okay, you're moving forward. You're having a victory out here, but this person is losing. They're losing a lot of money. Okay, if they take control and they try to get you in this boat and heal things with you, you're going to take on their money troubles. You're the one out here abundant. And quite frankly, so is the person that they're, they're, they have to walk away from now, who betrayed them. They got a lot of money out of this. They're sitting pretty. You know, your emperor, um, you know, this person normally stands for somebody who's pretty well established. Me too. This could be a boss business owner. But I feel like uh, this could even be like a judge here you know, in a divorce case, but that's not what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this as your person, but, you know, they're, they are losing, like, almost everything here to this Queen of Pentacles. So that puts them in a financial pinch, right, with a lot of worries and a lot of uh, remorse and anger and maybe even bitterness because of all that they lost to this person up here that betrayed them. So they're not really healed. They just want control. And they don't want you to get away. This is somebody who knows they knew for a long time they made a bad decision. And they stuck with it anyway. They decided to settle. And now a little bit of time has passed. And they're realizing that they were just majorly betrayed. Okay? Now they want to make a very quick snap decision and try to get you back and get their life back under control because now they see you as their match. They know with you and your success and your creativity and your business, whatever it is that you're doing, they know with you they could build an empire, okay? But the thing is, is are they coming towards you because they're in love with you because I don't see that. I see an emperor making, trying to make a very quick, logical decision for themselves and give, handing you the burdens of it all. Do you see? They need, a, they need a lifeboat is what they need. They need a lifeboat. And they see you as the life raft. Okay, so here they come. Yeah, wanting to get back together, right? Wanting to get back together. Oh, I love you. This is an apology, a massive one. Love bombing, right? Um, this is that offer of gold, that one pentacle, right? Right there. That's this one. They had to pick it up because they were just betrayed. Right? After, after all this time of being stubborn and refusing to walk away something, knowing it wasn't working... Staying in it because they didn't want to lose money or a property, right? Now they're coming towards you because I feel like they're losing it anyway. And you are their lifeboat. They're making a very quick decision here. Coming towards you with ev pretty much everything they've got. Okay? So that they can get back together with you. 
All right, what else can you show me here for, for the collective? Yeah, sabotage. Yeah, but this person, they, look, they, they stood around in a decision to make, knowing the whole time that it was you that they wanted, but still holding on to this other person here, this Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, I, I feel like it was a full-on commitment, okay? Um, but yeah, I feel like they betrayed themselves in this. They betrayed your connection. They sabotaged this. They sabotaged you. And like I said, you, you are the successful one. Clearly, hands down. You got nine pentacles here. The most you can have in the deck is ten. And you're one offer away from... Uh, the only thing you don't have here is a partnership. That one pentacle left, that stands for something long-lasting, something that you can build something solid with, right? Um, a beginning to a beginning to something that's going to be committed, right? And uh, generational wealth. This is on your way to building an empire. I feel like you're, you're kind of already there. And that's what this person wants. They want, this emperor wants to get back with their empress. But after they already decided to settle, because they didn't want to lose something that was from the material world. Okay? Um, so, yeah, they're in a lot of regret now that they turned their back on your soulmate connection. Okay? A lot of regret. Um, you could be dealing with um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Virgo. We're kind of heavy on Virgo out here now. But, you know, I mean, it could be any sign, right? Okay, so what is this person going to... I feel like they're coming towards you really fast. Well, what's going to happen next? How's that? Um, yeah, I kind of... I already know their intentions here for this one, and I know they're coming forward. But they have to heal, and I feel like they need to get out of their ego, and they need to stop playing games with people's hearts. It's not about money and what they can get, okay? I feel like this person um, is sort of, I mean, they're acting like an opportunist right now. Yeah, they, they juggled you. They couldn't decide. How come now they, they want their empress in the, how come now, right, do they want their empress in the minor arcana, their empress? It. Nine pentacles is a lot for a single person. Yeah. All right, what else can you show me? I feel like this person's going to lose a lot, and they, they may be broke, too. They're going to end up with really not much. Feeling like a fool. Wanting to take a leap of faith here. Um, I feel like this person was warned. You know, I'm noticing this dog here kind of yelping at this person like, don't do it, buddy. Don't do this risky, like warned about this queen of uh, pentacles and her, the, these friends that are gossiping and, and teaming up, right? The ones who stabbed this person in the back. I feel like this person was warned about them and this person just didn't listen. And I feel like they walked right off that cliff because they just continued to juggle. It's like they wanted you, but they, they decided, they, they made a decision uh, to settle for what they were in because they didn't want to lose a bunch of money or assets. That's why. Now that they're losing them anyway, now they want to come back towards you, okay? Feeling guarded because this person knows they're going to have to defend themselves, right? In order to get this Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you. You're going to have, you know, they're going to have to... Uh, this could be the opinions of others in their circle here. Um, but I'm really getting the feeling like they know they're going to have to defend themselves uh, against your questions. Like, why now? Right? That would be the first question. Why now? You know? 
because they're going to want this this ten of pentacles with you they want to build something they want uh i feel like they you know they want a lifeboat you're going to be their lifeboat that's what this person is thinking yeah it's almost like they don't want to have to work really hard to rebuild okay that's kind of what i'm feeling like here they don't want to have to work really hard to rebuild and you have nine pentacles and you guys can build empires off of ten okay so they've got one pentacle yeah I'm I don't this person I don't yeah I feel like um, yeah why don't we get together put our put our minds together here right King and Queen of Swords come out. I feel like this person wants to collaborate with you. They want to work with you on the project that you're working on. Is really the feeling that I'm getting here. They want to join forces. They want to collaborate. They want that partnership, right? That's what they want now. It's almost like now they've gotten clarity, okay? But you're still sitting here like, well, what about when you stab me in the back with this sword what about that I feel like they don't they don't really want to talk about that they just want to get past it I feel and uh, and work on this with you because you're successful okay and they lost a lot here king of cups yeah wheel of fortune this person has no love okay because I'm really not seeing any love out here they've got no love and no fortune okay the wheel of fortune is not turning in their favor and I feel like because they didn't show any love they've got their own destiny on delay okay they've the wheel of fortune is kind of on delay for them but yeah I I feel like this person's at a complete and utter loss that's why they want to team up with you you're whatever you're doing you're doing great you're successful. You're leveling up in your life. You're solid. You've got um, uh, financial stability here. Yeah, I feel like um, you're you're cutting this person out. I feel like you've made a decision here, and you're manifesting new love with this two of cups that's being mixed up already by the divine. Okay. I feel like you may be working on your healing, trying new things, um, getting, you know, putting yourself out there, um, listening to the messages that you're getting from the divine and manifesting new love. That's what I feel. I feel like you know that um, that this person, I, I don't see any love here. Yeah, look, you know, you know that this person, this is knowing, right? that this person's going to get you all in a mental mind trap all over again. You know it's kind of a trap. It's the end. Cycle over. You're making your decision. You're manifesting a new soulmate connection to get you to your Ten of Pentacles. One that's going to be true to you. One that's going to give back equally to you. Okay? One that you can trust and build with. You've gotten your clarity about this person over here. Okay? This is an opportunist. And you want love. Collective. You want love. Anyway, collective, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you guys. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button. Subscribe to the channel, right? Um, if you haven't already... If you like this vibe and it resonates with you, join the Soul Tribe because we rock. And uh, until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.